So here's my minecart station that I made with the recent 1.5 update. It has powered rails and the detector, detector tracks. Basically the station has three parts. The switcher, which selects which of four outputs the cart goes into, and it transfers all inputs into one line, which is this one. This is the cart sorter, which detects whether there was a person in the cart or it's just a storage cart. So if it's a storage cart, it goes into the storage area here. If not, then it goes into the main depot area. The storage unit here is um, basically your normal stack, but you can cycle through the carts um, and the carts come down into the depot and you can empty or fill them before you send them out or send them back into the stack. So I'll show you how each one works individually. So here's a tour of the mine cart sorter. So the cart comes in through here, hits this button. Underneath here is a circuit that delays this button and turns this on after a short time. So the cart comes in here and it breaks on this track, but once the delay comes in and this turns on, it gets sped up again. So this makes it so it resets it to zero, the speed to zero, and then it starts it again at a speed that I specify. So once it's going at the speed that's correct for this, because this, this is very sensitive to the right speed, it comes over here and jumps this area here. Um, if there's a person in it, this button will be pressed, and if not, then nothing will happen. But in either case, it will jump this button and catch this track and get boosted on to wherever the destination is. So what this button does is it basically has a short delay, and then it switches this track. If it switches this way, then the cart will go this way. If it's kept the same, then it'll go this way. So if this button doesn't get pressed, and that means there's no person on the cart, then it will go to storage. If there is a person, then it will go to the depot. Alright, so here's an example coming into the station with the person. Jumps the plate and lands up in the depot. So now let's do without a person. Let it go. Here it comes, stops, gets boosted, jumps the plate, and goes to the storage area. Alright, so here's the storage area system. So basically with this system, you can cycle through the carts you have, like select items and stuff, or you can actually just send the cart off to some destination from your switch, switch yard. So here we go. I'm going to cycle through the carts. So you step on this button. One goes up, and one goes down. Keep doing this forever. And to send it off, you just switch this rail and let it go. So off it goes. Switch it back. And cycle it. Alright, so the way this works is it just basically has a storage area here, which is just a stack of minecarts and there is a booster for this part so just like the normal way you can do it but with a very simple booster basically the cart gets boosted when that track gets turned on and it zooms up through here grabs the minecart once it hits here it switches directions and just goes back in so when it actually goes back in it sometimes pushes the minecarts if they get messed up a little bit on the way out back into place so once the minecart is traveling out here, it keeps going, and it gets it breaks on this track. So this is the power track under here. So when you turn this power track on, it lets this minecart go. The button gets pressed, which triggers the booster to grab another cart and push it down the line. And this one keeps getting zoomed through here and back up through there. So the rideable part of the station is this area here. If a cart is detected with a person on it, then it will go through here and dock in this area. So, similar like that. So once you're docked in this area, you can choose where you want to go and when you want to go. So basically, this button actually controls a 2-bit counter over there, which selects one of four tracks. It doesn't have a display right now, but I don't want to deal with that. This button here is just to start. So basically, let's press this. So we go out of the station, 
through here, and this one was selected, so off that way. So the counter is back here. So the switching works like this. This is a most significant bit, basically. It selects either to go through one of these two or one of these two. The second bit selects either to go to one of these two or to go to one of these two. So with basically just two signal lines, you can go to one of four tracks. So this station is just a prototype. This is just my test world. Um, so it doesn't really have much decoration. But I plan to add that to my next, my actual map. So um, also, if you notice, there's a lot of golden rails used. Um, kind of an excessive amount. I mean, you can cut this down a lot. I just. I used an inventory edit, so I went wild, kind of wild with it. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this station. Uh, it was fun to build, and I really like new rail systems. Um, one thing though, this would be so much simpler if we actually had a wooden button cart detector. Uh, that is my suggestion for Notch. Alright, bye.